When Jacob stumbled upon a pregnant wolf in the depths of the forest, his instinct to rescue her from impending danger was immediate, little did he know, the encounter would etch a memory into his consciousness, resonating throughout his lifetime, whenever sadness, frustration, or defeat clouded his mind, he sought solace in the embrace of the wilderness, the caress of the wind against his face felt like nature itself breathing vitality back into his weary soul, grounding him even amidst the most turbulent moments even now, as his future appeared to unravel before him, Jacob clung to the belief that relentless perseverance could somehow stave off the impending disaster, the allure of returning to his former job at the logging company, where he had earned a steady income under Foreman Kemplin's wing, was undeniable, however, the thought of surrendering to a fate that contradicted his aspirations only deepened the wounds of his spirit, that job had always been a temporary means to an end, the earnings meant for a goal that now seemed unattainable when the faint melody of birdsong danced overhead and the delicate aroma of crushed herbs greeted his senses, the sting of failed exams and shattered dreams began to fade into the background, lost in his surroundings, Jacob realized he had wandered farther than usual, stumbling upon a hidden corner of the woods, a magnificent tree stood apart from its brethren, its branches gracefully filtering sunlight to illuminate a mysterious hollow below, though it appeared to be the perfect sanctuary for woodland creatures, Jacob's tranquility was shattered by the low, menacing growl emanating from within the hollow's depths, the sound echoed like a desperate plea, a cry for survival in the face of imminent threat, Jacob's gaze darted around, finally spotting the source of the unseen creature's distress, a lynx, sprawled lazily across a branch, its predatory eyes fixed on the hollow below, squinting, Jacob thought he discerned the outline of a wolf's muzzle amidst the shadows, but uncertainty lingered, he couldn't shake the empathy stirring within him, when the wolf's plight mirrored his own struggles, trapped between predator and sanctuary, the wolf epitomized Jacob's own sense of entrapment, while his life wasn't at risk of being devoured, the weight of failure bore down heavily upon him, failing his exams through no fault of his own, a freak accident at the logging camp had further hindered his progress, fracturing his leg and necessitating surgery, though the logging company's insurance covered the medical expenses, the setback disrupted his plans and tested his resolve, however, amidst the turmoil, Jacob found a silver lining, a newfound appreciation for the resilience of the human spirit, observing the dedication of medical professionals during his recovery inspired him, fueling his ambition to join their ranks, bedridden but undeterred, he delved into his studies, determined not to let adversity dull his aspirations, while his supervisors suggested delaying his exams, Jacob refused to surrender to defeat, clinging to the hope of a brighter future, confident in his ability to salvage the situation, Jacob believed he could scrape through and complete the year, unfortunately, reality dealt a harsh blow when he received his results crushed by the realization of his failure, he found himself not only falling short of his dream but also grappling with the sense of wasted years spent in pursuit of a goal that had eluded him, during his hospital stay, Jacob had forged a close bond with Amber, a young woman working in the medical field as a physiotherapist, their time together during his recovery had brought them closer, and Amber's buoyant personality proved instrumental in aiding his rehabilitation and study efforts, despite the hints of mutual interest between them. Jacob hesitated to take their relationship to the next level, fearing how his recent setback would impact her perception of him, terrified of facing Amber after his academic disappointment, Jacob sought refuge in the forest, grappling with the uncertainty of his future, when he pondered the life or death struggle unfolding in the hollow, he realized his own situation, while Dyer, lacked the imminent danger of becoming prey to a wild creature armed with nothing but his mobile phone and a quick thinking strategy, he seized upon the element of surprise, with a burst of courage, he amplified his phone's volume, selecting a gunshot sound clip that reverberated through the forest, momentarily halting the growling and catching the lynx off guard, the lynx, though irritated by the disturbance, ultimately recognized the ominous sound and leaped to a neighboring branch, its tail flicking with annoyance, reluctant to risk confrontation with a potential threat, it abandoned its prey, leaving the forest momentarily silent when Jacob listened intently, the rustling within the hollow hinted at the emergence of its lone inhabitant, a pregnant wolf, understanding dawned upon him, her condition rendered her vulnerable to predators, both for herself and her unborn offspring, puzzled by the absence of a mate or pack, Jacob pondered the wolf's solitary plight, had her mate met a tragic fate, was she herself injured or ill, 
Contemplating her vulnerability, he realized the imminent danger she faced once her cubs arrived, the lynx, or perhaps other predators like bears, could return, posing a threat to her and her young. Jacob's empathy for her plight overshadowed his own troubles, recognizing her predicament as far more dire than his own, inspired by tales of humble creatures outsmarting stronger adversaries, Jacob's mind raced with a solution, drawing upon the lessons of cleverness and guile from his grandmother's stories, he found resolve in the face of despair, with determination, he crafted a plan to aid the pregnant wolf, the weight of his own troubles lifting when he embraced the opportunity to make a difference. When he laid out his strategy, echoes of his grandmother's tales reassured him that sometimes, cunning and resourcefulness were the greatest assets of all, she shared those tales solely to comfort her bookish grandson, who was often taunted by other children, however, witnessing his swift action in deterring a lynx by manipulating controls on his phone screen made Rec ponder her philosophy, perhaps there was merit in the concept of the fox harnessing the strength of the tiger for its own benefit, akin to the tortoise's triumph through steadfast perseverance, his strategy for Operation Safe Cubs involved reaching out to an acquaintance in corporate security. Upon explaining his need for a mini camera, his friend generously offered the equipment free of charge, providing guidance on its setup. With the camera activated, Jacob could monitor the wolf's den continuously. He equipped himself with camping gear and an all terrain vehicle, establishing a base camp nearby, striking a balance between proximity for rapid response and respecting the wolf's space, though armed with a rifle, Jacob seldom had to employ it, thanks to the surveillance camera's vigilance against potential predators during the wolf's birthing period, witnessing the birth of the cubs was a profoundly moving experience for him, embracing solitude during his weeks of watchfulness allowed him to find solace and contribute to the welfare of the wolf family, the wolf cubs, with their undeniable charm, provided Jacob with endless joy. Compiling footage from the surveillance tapes, he crafted a captivating narrative of the wolf's journey, which he shared on YouTube, garnering widespread attention amidst a rare trip to town for supplies. Jacob unexpectedly encountered Amber, a physiotherapist, who showed a keen interest in the wolf cubs. Their chance meeting led to an impromptu lunch. Surprising Jacob with the unexpected connection, he found solace in opening up about his academic struggles and the shattered dream of becoming a doctor. Devoid of shame, this newfound confidence stemmed from a sense of accomplishment through his interaction with Amber, who, in turn, shared her own academic challenges and aversion to surgical scenarios. Her transition from aspiring doctor to pursuing physiotherapy resonated with him, showcasing the possibility of finding fulfillment in unexpected paths. Their candid exchange sparked introspection in Jacob regarding his future endeavors, when the wolf cubs matured and became self-sufficient. Jacob's role as their protector gradually diminished, however, a poignant moment ensued when the she-wolf approached him, symbolically acknowledging his role in safeguarding her offspring. During his vigil over the wolf family, Jacob captured numerous moments through his lens, which he later shared with Amber, now his partner, encouraged by her, he entered a wildlife photography contest, winning the top prize. The monetary reward provided a lifeline for his medical studies, allowing him to pursue his passion with renewed vigor, navigating a less perilous part-time job and receiving invaluable support from Amber, Jacob excelled in his exams, eventually becoming a respected doctor, their shared journey culminated in the establishment of a practice dedicated to aiding accident victims in their recovery, unlike conventional doctors who display diplomas. Jacob's office bore a testament to his transformative experience, a captivating photograph of the she-wolf, this symbolized not only her pivotal role in altering his trajectory but also the profound debt of gratitude he owed to her, this tale illustrates the transformative power of connection and resilience, inviting others to share their own stories of animals that provided solace during challenging times, that's all about the first story and now let's watch another similar story, in the heart of the forest, a defenseless infant was callously discarded by her mother, devoid of maternal instinct, however, fate intervened as an unlikely guardian, a wolf, took notice of the abandoned child, the wolf's actions left even the most seasoned forester in astonishment and disbelief for most mothers, the arrival of a new baby signifies a joyous milestone, however, for this young woman, her newborn daughter was nothing more than an inconvenient burden she sought to rid herself of hastily throughout her pregnancy, she concealed her condition under bulky attire, not even confiding in her boyfriend, when labor pains commenced, she faced them alone, 
neither seeking aid nor venturing to the hospital, miraculously, the baby was born healthy, instinctively reaching out for her mother, who held her briefly, not out of affection but to silence her cries, wrapping the unwanted child in a towel and concealing her beneath her coat, the mother set forth to execute her dreadful plan, donning boots, she ventured into the nearby woods, deeming it a suitable place to dispose of the inconvenient infant, alone amidst the wilderness, she halted abruptly, casting the baby onto the ground in a fit of frustration, resenting the inconvenience wrought by her pregnancy and childbirth, despite sensing something amiss, the infant's cries fell on deaf ears when her mother marched away, leaving her to the mercy of the forest, she strolled quickly till her daughter's sobs of abandonment subsided into quiet, the infant soon realized she was completely alone, hunger gnawed at her tiny gut as the cold of the forest replaced the warmth of her mother's arms, her shouts cut through the silence of the woods even if she was unable to understand them, still, in the great distance of the wild, the infant's wails came to the attention of an animal far more honorable than her cold-hearted mother, the wolf, an experienced protector of the forest, heard the strange noise while he was surveying his area, even with his seven winters of experience, he could not understand the high-pitched wails, he was intrigued and decided to investigate the sound after smelling hints of the strange smell coming from the breeze that he knew to be human he occasionally allowed humans inside his territory usually with the company of their devoted canines the wolf watched them interact and was struck by how closely humans and dogs were bonded a connection he found difficult to understand still he was perplexed by the sight of a human youngster abandoned in the forest he had observed that human parents were very watchful over their children and seldom left them, the wolf approached the abandoned baby out of curiosity and a sense of duty, his sharp senses on the lookout for any signals of danger, were the parents of the child harmed, the wolf approached cautiously, his nose to the ground as he searched for solutions to the perplexing puzzle in front of him, the answer the wolf received only deepened the mystery, detecting the faint scent of the child's mother and the lingering trace of blood, he couldn't discern the truth of her fate, as far as he knew, she might have met a tragic end nearby, drawing nearer to the infant, the wolf examined him with his keen nose, noting the scent of health despite the perilous surroundings, the baby, barely a day old and already abandoned, responded to the wolf's touch with soft gurgling sounds, forging an unexpected bond, licking the baby gently, the wolf pondered his next move, he had decided to watch over the infant, yet he knew the baby needed more than his protection, with night, Approaching, the cold would threaten the baby's survival, thus, the wolf faced a dilemma, meanwhile, seasoned forester Tom's routine patrol took an unexpected turn as he observed the wolf's peculiar behavior, carrying something in its mouth, the wolf's catch puzzled Tom until he recognized the unmistakable form of a human baby, his heart clenched with apprehension, knowing the gravity of such a discovery, encountering a predator with a human child spelled disaster, both for the bereaved parents, in the predator itself, to Tom's astonishment, however, the baby appeared unharmed, cradled tenderly by the wolf, sensing the urgency of the situation, Tom approached cautiously, addressing the wolf with a mixture of concern and curiosity, the wolf regarded him evenly, as if assessing his intentions, as Tom realized he must intervene, the baby needed human care, and the wolf's protective instinct had led him to this unexpected encounter, the wolf flashed his fangs briefly, a warning, Tom and the Untamed protector engaged in negotiations, I promise not to hurt him, Tom vowed fervently, but he needs human care, surely you understand that, a moment of silence fell, the wolf gave the infant a gentle pat on the forest floor after giving him a single bark and wagon tail, Tom moved carefully forward, but the wolf stopped him with a low growl, Tom sensed the impasse and realized he needed to move quickly to save the youngster, Tom moved forward one more step and saw the wolf drop to the ground, his gaze unwavering, Tom gently reached out and touched the infant, causing it to wail pitifully, Tom swayed softly and hummed a familiar tune when he continued to comfort the newborn, feeling both relieved and cautious, the infant calmed down eventually, comforted by the soothing presence, Tom backed away carefully, keeping a close eye on the wolf that followed at a safe distance and radioing for help, when they reached the forestry station, Tom felt the wolf's last ditch stare before it vanished into the forest, the baby's welfare took precedence at the station, before being taken to the hospital for additional assessment, a nurse gave him the critical care he needed, even though Tom didn't spend much time with the baby, the touching experience in the middle of the desert left him feeling melancholy when he passed the baby into the nurse's care, he couldn't help but ponder the uncertain fate awaiting the little one, 
the police officers pressed him for details, keen to pinpoint. Where Tom stumbled upon the wolf and the infant, they enlisted his help to guide their tracker. Hoping to trace the steps of whoever left the child behind, following the trail led them to the spot where the baby was abandoned, with faint footprints hinting at the mysterious figure's departure, the discovery of a newborn boy nestled in the forest alongside a wolf, San's mother, left the authorities grappling with more questions than answers, despite their exhaustive efforts, no clinic, hospital, doctor, or midwife could link the infant to any recent births, every documented baby was safely cradled by their mothers, leaving the conclusion that this was an unrecorded birth, the handiwork of an anonymous woman who promptly deserted her newborn in a bid to unravel the enigma, they scoured missing persons reports and delved into databases for any potential matches, when Tom was finally released from questioning, he returned home to his wife, Jessie, over tea, he recounted the day's tumultuous events, prompting Jessie's eyes to brim with tears at the thought of the infant's ordeal, though. Childless due to her infertility, the sight of the helpless babe stirred a resolve in Jessie's heart, each day, she inquired about the baby's progress, yearning to cradle him herself, finally permitted to visit, she beheld the infant, battered by circumstance yet radiating resilience, in that moment, Jessie knew she had found her purpose, Tom's heart swelled with joy as Jessie revealed her decision to adopt the forest-found child, despite his elation, a shadow of concern loomed over him, fearing, that the biological mother's reappearance could shatter Jessie's newfound happiness, they christened the baby Connor, and he swiftly became the centerpiece of their daily lives, Jessie showered Connor with affection, adorning him in handmade garments while Tom crafted a wooden rocker adorned with playful mobiles, in their care, Connor flourished, embodying an angelic serenity that brought solace to their hearts, he often reached out, his tiny fingers eager to grasp at the twinkling stars, and painted animal figures adorning the rocker, in the mornings, Jesse would relocate the chair outside, allowing young Connor to bask in the gentle morning rays, it seemed the natural world held a special allure for him, perhaps stemming from his early connection to the woods, one day, as Jesse sat knitting with Connor dozing nearby, she noticed a visitor, a large wolf stood a short distance away, observing them, normally, she would have hurried Connor indoors, but given the unusual circumstances, of his arrival, she remained still, waiting, the wolf approached, sniffing curiously at the baby, then, after a moment, turned and wandered back into the woods, when Connor grew, the wolf made sporadic visits, almost as if checking in on him, remarkably, neither Connor nor his adoptive family harbored any fear of the creature, they began to believe this idyllic existence would endure indefinitely, however, unsettling news shattered their tranquility while they settled into their new family dynamic, the police continued their investigation into Connor's origins, a DNA sample eventually yielded a match in their database, Connor's birth mother, shockingly, she was implicated in a series of bank robberies, arrested and facing serious charges, including child endangerment and attempted murder, she wouldn't be leaving jail anytime soon, while Tom and Jesse were appalled by her actions, they found solace in knowing Connor would remain under their care, safe from the tumult of his birth mother's world, the wolf continued its sporadic visits, almost as if seeking reassurance that the baby had found his rightful place, the last sighting occurred just before Connor embarked on his first year of school, yet, perhaps, the wolf still lurked unseen, silently watching over the boy it had once rescued, it's a poignant thought, a beautiful ending to a remarkable tale, above is today's story, if you like it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up, see you next time.